Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Vermintide. Today, uh, I just want to update you guys on some stuff. So, I am a very, very new uh, player to Vermintide, and I'm constantly feeling like I'm just so behind. Like, I was mentioning this on stream, uh, but basically, I, I went to look into, like, how to farm gear. Um, and I was greeted with a ton of YouTube videos about, uh, about... Uh, basically things that were patched so like you go to look into how to uh, what's the best way to farm some boxes or some chests um, and there's a way that you can do it that basically uh, it's it, it gives you a, a, a fantastic chest uh, by like kind of it's slightly glitching the map so that you can get to the end really fast and yes it's broken and it's a glitch but uh, it kind of feels bad because I'm like oh well I never got to utilize this and <laughs> this sucks because everyone else got to kind of utilize this so I feel just behind essentially and I feel like ah man it's gonna be a pain in the ass to reclaim that kind of ground um, which is still present but there is something that I found out when I was also streaming because I was telling you guys this information and a lovely person in our community named Carthage uh, told me about this amazing strat but then he also linked me to the video that he's seen so I will do that as well remind me if I forget because I'm a very forgetful person but in general this is a way to get XP very very quickly at any point in the game uh, so essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start up this mission, Empire in, uh, in Flames. Um, and all you need to do is complete the first mission, I believe, that you get. And then this is the second mission, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but basically, you you're, if you start off at level uh, like level 1, so if you go, maybe you've never played uh, the, the dwarf before. So you go ahead and play that dwarf. He's going to be level 1 with probably not that much power but if you have another character that's high level you can kind of get the high power rating just with the necklaces and stuff like that uh, but regardless uh, if, you, if you can't do veteran just do recruit um, and this is only good for XP farming this is not good for uh, uh, boxes and chests which is kind of shitty because I really want a good legendary chest farm that isn't like completing this super super hard mode which you get downed in one shot especially considering that's the way you get good gear to be able to last in those environments so yeah, it weird doesn't make the most sense. Regardless, <laughs> regardless, um, I think I'm actually eligible to to do this champion, and I wonder if the experience gain is better for that. Uh, but regardless, yeah, basically you're just gonna want to choose whatever difficulty you can. We are not gonna be fighting anybody, so we should be good. Should be. Uh, yes, so if I hit apply, um, I'm also you're probably gonna want to not. I'm not hosting, right? Additional info. Yeah, private a uh, private game. So you're gonna want to make sure you're in a private game so that that way no one is going to interrupt and what we're doing. Uh, so you're just gonna want to jump in. Uh, we're just gonna find this fence and basically what this has to do with is we are going to be jumping out of the map and running right to the end of the mission. Uh, now because we are at the end of the mission, we have almost completed that said mission. So when we die and we fail the mission at the end, the game kind of sees us as okay. Well, you got through most of the mission. You still deserve a lot of XP. You're just not gonna get a chest, but you're gonna deserve a lot of experience. So it's like okay, so this is a good way to get experience, but not chests. So this is kind of like. Good, but not great. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be really cool if there was a way to get chests without having to break your ass, <laughs> but still. And there is one way I've seen, which I might want to give a try, but it's like, it's like super a wall glitching the game. <laughs> it's just like, okay, this feels a bit too much like breaking the game. Whereas this one, I don't know. You can accomplish it within relative speed uh, and whatnot. Uh, also, there's a way to like alt tab out of this and keep on going. I know I don't get it I'll, I'll be patient for two seconds <laughs> and just go also you can do this with any character, but um, Yeah, no you can do it with any character The only thing that is is that you need to die close to the end and if you have a character like the the uh, fire mage uh, She can down herself if she overheats so you can you can down yourself at the perfect location uh, But yeah, so essentially you're gonna want to make your way to this tree as soon as you can see the tree You're gonna want to look and there's gonna be this break in the fence so you guys can see right by that tree We go 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 break in the fence So this is the place right here where you're gonna want to jump back now You're supposed to look at the ground and just start button mashing over here, and it is Dude, I've it's like right. It's like insanity. It's like you'll try to find these these like this nonsense mechanic like like hey oh, If I jump off of at this specific angle, I usually get it But I think it's just random because I've tried doing that and you're just gonna go mad You just keep jumping in that direction and eventually your your dumb ass will find its way over to the damn fence I even started convincing myself at some point where like if I don't look at it It happens with greater ease because I think it's just entirely random and I'll start trying to find like sense in something that is senseless <laughs> So again, just jump in this direction and eventually you'll get your tushy over over the goddamn fence So this is the thing that can take like anywhere from like, you know 
20 seconds to two minutes, and it's really not great. But it's certainly better than running through the whole quest and getting min minuscule XP or having a chance of dying halfway through the encounter in which you don't even get that much XP for doing that. So yes. But this is great, Chris. For me, this is a way for me to like reclaim some ground for everyone who's at endgame. So uh, if I get like better levels, I'll be able to invest in better perks, and then I can actually survive longer in, in higher tier difficulties so that I can actually uh, get the cool gear that I want. Uh, but you know. There it is! Okay. Bloody hell. So when you, <laughs> when you do that, boom. We've done it. So now you're just going to want to walk this way. So right beside that tree, we just jump off, turn this way, and you're going to want to make your way past this broken-ass uh, cart. Now, again, surprisingly, uh, even though we're outside of the map right now, things are still up and at them. They work. Uh, except stuff like this. So we just move through this rock, uh, and then you're going to want to aim this direction. So in between these trees, you're going to want to go straight. You'll hear a bunch of weird craziness in your ears, uh, but yes, we're just going to want to make our way straight, and then eventually, uh, if you have higher rend, uh, view distance or, sh or whatnot, um, you'll see a, uh, a windmill, basically, uh, and you're going to want to make your way to that. Uh, yes, and also it's actually preferred if your companions die because when we get to the end, uh, we want to actually drop immediately. So if you don't have a, a person who can kill herself, um, then you're going to be just jumping into the enemies to kill you, which is great if you have it on higher difficulties, they can drop you really fast. Um, and your your AI will basically keep trying to pick you up and you're going to want to keep dying because eventually they'll get to the point where if you just die one more time, you just die. You don't get have a chance of reviving. So we're just going to keep our, making our way there. There's the windmill right there. Yeah, see, or the AI is keeping each other safe, so uh, all that. Yeah, it's also hordes are being activated by our AI. Now, the windmill is right there, so we're going to want to make your way past this wall. So stick to the right side of the wall, I guess. Yeah. Okay, now, next pillar. So there's the windmill. Look to the left. Uh, we're on the wall as well. There's a stump. Make your way to the stump. Beautiful stump. Now, this is where you can kind of screw yourself. So as soon as you get past the stump, you're going to want to basically start walking left and jumping uh, and aiming towards, uh, well, you'll see. So we're past the stump. We're going to start aiming towards this way. We're gonna. There's an invisible wall right here. That's why I can't move past it. And you just keep jumping. And we've basically clipped through it. So there was like this tiny little invisible wall there. You just keep jumping and you move through it. And there's going to be this tiny little twig tree right there. Um, you're going to aim for that. Now this is the next part. And this part you can actually screw yourself um, out of a lot of experience. This is the difference between like 50 experience to 800 experience. So this is important. So right here there's an invisible wall. So you're going to want to look over here and start jumping. And there's this tiny little like lip that you're going to jump over like that. Um, but that's important because otherwise you'll get you'll basically have to run all the way over there now uh, There's enemy now also your AI will spawn back in and this is pretty easy to jump over I say as I can't jump over there We go now you're gonna want to make your way over there and die at that point because if you die up here You're only gonna get 70 uh, points um, Or sorry 700 XP where you want to get the maximum amount right so you're gonna want to make your way over here And then you're gonna proceed to kill yourself now whether that's just waiting for AI to come and kill you or it's playing the witch and just burning yourself alive uh, many, many times. So yes, boop, 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 boop. And explode. We're gonna try to stay on the objective so that we get the maximum amount of XP. I don't know if playing on higher difficulties gives you more XP. I think it would. I've never actually beat it on champion. Uh, I've only beat it on veteran, so we'll see. But last time I got around 800 uh, XP for doing this, so we'll just compare. We're gonna drop one more time, and then we're gonna get, boom, yeah, perfect. So now when we die, since since we're not playing with other people, that's why you put it to a private game, um, we should yield a pretty good amount of XP. Unless they patch this. Please, please, I have not patched it. <laughs> please. Let me grind a little bit more <laughs> so I can ca catch up a tiny bit. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so we only get 800. So I don't think it's it matters uh, putting it on higher difficulties. But we finally got to level 20, which gives me another a talent point. So if you're, if you're lower level, so that's a pretty good amount of experience. It's almost... Uh, like half, a half of bar of experience. So you need to do this twice in order to get a full bar of XP, XP, but there's only 30 levels, so it's pretty good. Also, if you just play a little bit of that character on the side as well, you'll probably get the le lower levels fast as well. Uh, but yes, you fail, you get that loss, but you also get a tasty bit of experience, and it's quite quick. We did that in 13 uh, minutes, but a lot of that was just me shitting the bed when it comes to jumping over that little hip. The lip, sorry, on, on the fence. Which again, I would highly suggest just trying to aim for the little gap and just jumping like randomly and if you want to get creative and start jumping a little bit like 
little left to the right a little bit, then sure. <laughs> but I think it is random. It is one of those things where you're just kind of trying to find that weird, perfect angle that only exists if you button mash it, because it's just that fine, <laughs> I guess, that 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 thing. Uh, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. That is going to end it. Uh, let's open up a chest just to just to do the things. Let's open up these trash silver ones I have. But hey, boom, boom, boom. Ooh, we got a deed. I don't know what those are exactly. Again, I'm very new to the game, but sure. Let's open up all the silver ones, actually, because they're trash. You guys were telling me on stream about, like, power rating and level and whatnot. So I'm like, oh, I'm still confused. <laughs> but okay, thank you <laughs> for letting me know at least. Yeah, so I think, I think now I'm only looking for the ones who that are, like, purple difficulty, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it. I just want to let you guys know that because again, there's a lot of people who are maybe seeing the video, videos that I'm uploading and being like, oh, well, I want to get into the game too, but I'm, I'm feeling the same way. I feel like I can't reclaim enough ground. You know what I mean? It would be nice if they did like a double XP weekend uh, where we were able to like grind our ass off and reclaim some ground and get ourselves faster to end game, right? Rather than having to like find ways to break the game, <laughs> you know? But regardless, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. As always, subscribe button above me as well as two videos to my right. Thank you again for your time. Also, if you like the video, I see you and... Goodbye.